write as a single logarithm. To combine this, we need to know some properties. If I have log of x times y, can somebody tell me what is that equal to? It would be log of what? Log of x plus log of y. We need to know that. Now the base here would be the same. I'm going to call this base b for all of us. The only property we need to know here, if I have log of x over y, what does that equal to anyone? That would be log of x minus log of y. Again, the base is the same. All right. Is that another one we may or may not use it for this one? Uh, most likely going to use it. If I have a log of x to the power of n with the base b, what are you going to do with that n? n goes right front of the log. n log of x with the base b. So these are the three properties we need to know to write this expression as a single logarithm. So let's take a look. Looks like the first term here, I can move that 2 right, right on top of that t using the third property. So this would be the same as log of t squared with the base 5. Plus, to do the same thing with the 5, this would be the same as log of t minus 6 to the power of 5, again the base of 5, all of them, minus log of t minus 7 with the base 5. Uh, this 5 is supposed to be right down here instead of base. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and combine these now. These two would be using property number 1. If I have log of x plus log of y, I can uh, change it in terms of their product. Your x is t squared, your y is t minus 6 to the power of 5. So again, combine this into log of, the first term is t squared, the second term is t minus 6 to the power of 5. That's how you can combine them. Base is 5. Minus log of t minus 6. Not, since this is minus, I can use the second property here, so that I can combine this as a log of, your x would be all this stuff here, your y would be all this stuff here. So that would be the same as t squared times t minus 6 to the power of 5 over t minus 7. Again, the base is 5. So this is how you write as a single logarithm. 